Space Slugs. Uh, it's the Analog Kid Digital Man here, here to show you some cool stuff. Uh, I've been playing the old jazz bass. It's awesome. I love it. Sounds great. Feels great. Uh, but I put on some Peter Gabriel tunes and started hearing Tony Levin playing his five string. Got to bring out the five string then. Some of you say, eh, I only play the four string because five string can't. You're jerks and idiots. So we get out the old five string. While you're playing your five string, you figure out, damn it, haven't touched this thing in years. It's been stuck in the case. Battery's dead. I got all this extra work to do. Strings are dead. So replace your dead strings. Don't sit there with those crappy dead ones in there. It's like, oh man, the old studio guys used to play dead strings. Yeah, well, it's not 1963 anymore. All right, so we're gonna change the string. So some of you uh, should have or be familiar with string winders. Here's a regular old one I've had for ages and it's just designed for your big wide uh, bass tuning machines. And uh, that's sucky because you should play more than one instrument. So we're getting rid of that. Here's a cool one that I've had that I really like. It's only for bass as well from our good friends over there at uh, Planet Waves, Daddario, but it has these handy little snips on the end. So when I wind it up, you get it tuned, clip that tip off the end. Don't leave your strings hanging out to poke people in the eye. You're a jerk. Here's the coolest one. I like this also from the awesome people at Daddario. Uh, this is a string winder and you can see this lovely little uh, notch here in the side. It will work on your big wide bass tuning machines, smaller acoustic tuning machines. And you see it's got a small slot crosswise. Also works on your tiny little baby guitar. Here's the other cool thing about this. This little sucker is glow in the dark. And for those acoustic players, see this little bevel here, right on? That's for uh, putting on your body and popping up your end pins. So you don't use pliers and jag them all up like I've done for years. And here's what makes it really sexy. Oh, oh my God, you see this? So we're gonna use a power drill and this, cause we ought to play bass. We ain't got time to mess around. Screw holding uh, thing here for that home project that I'm, let's face it, I'm never gonna get to. So we'll just get rid of that sucker right there. Put this bad daddy right on here like this. Oh, yeah. Now we're gonna change those strings like a bat. I got strings, so I found them, so we're gonna use these. So let's get to it. Let's show you how awesome this is and how fast we can pop these strings off this uh, bat. But you're gonna say, hey, you should put it on one of those fancy little things. Well, then I have to change the camera and it's a colossal uh, pain in the ass. Oh, going the wrong way. Forgot, reverse the <laughs> this. <laughs> Hold on to your panties, Grandma. We're getting the hell out of here. And here, look, even fits the little hip shot. You see that? That's my hip shot. Woo -hoo -hoo. Hold on to your potatoes, Dr. Jones. Look at this. We're having fun. We're saving time. Get this on here. The Dario Magnificent Bastards. Did I mention this thing glows in the dark as well? Woo! Man, back in the old days, we'd barely be started. And through the magic of television, I got all the strings off the bass. And you're gonna recycle these strings, and only jerks throw them in landfills, and our good friends at Daddario are now recycling strings back uh, in a cool program, and you should do it. Don't be an idiot. Time for a pro tip, ladies and gentlemen. Do you wanna get that awesome Guitar Magazine photo shoot look on your strings? I know you do. You want to cut the strings two and a half inches past the tuner post. This will give enough to poke the string in the tuning machine's hole and just the right amount of winds to be neat and sexy while holding tension. Remember, my cheeky monkeys, always wind to the inside of the headstock and hold them down so they wind from the top down and get held firmly in the nut. Go in peace, Hollywood. Here we go. And now we're done in record time. Thanks to the Dario's cool glow-in-the-dark multi-use string winder.
love it. Go buy one now. All right, you funky monkeys, hit that like button, subscribe for more reviews and demos. Check out my website, analogkiddigitalman.net. And if you got a request or a question, go ahead and put it in that comment section. I'll get to it if I like it.